Hey y'all, this is Robert Beatty. More water filter stuff. I'm responding to LDS Prepper. He said his name is David. And he made some claims about the validity of things I said in my videos. And he said I was lying about some things. I want to address his concerns. I'm just gonna go through my notes. He said that I'm lying. He said that I'm completely uneducated. There's no way he could know that. We don't know one another. He has no access to my educational records. Not really sure why he said that. He said that I've been calling names and doing personal attacks, but he won't do that. I do not deny that I have been calling names such as liar and thieves. We're implying it because there's evidence that that's exactly what New Millennium Concepts is doing. Uh, he contradicted himself by saying that because he just said that I'm totally uneducated, which he doesn't know one way or the other, and it has no real bearing on evaluating the facts. It's a personal attack. He said that I said there are lawsuits with Berkey, and that Berkey bought filters from manufacturers that are not NSF tested, and that, and he said that is a bold-faced lie right there. There are two lawsuits against Berkey, one in New York, one in Texas. It's publicly available information. I linked to the documents. You can find a couple of little news articles with Bloomberg, I think. So I don't really know what he's talking about. And as far as me saying that Berkey bought these filters from this other company, in the New York suit, the plaintiffs claim that New Millennium Concepts did start to negotiate buying those filters and moving in that direction. Whether they actually bought them or not, I don't know. And I didn't say that they absolutely bought them. I also was very clear that these cases have not been completely decided yet, and I invited people to read the documents and make conclusions of their own. He kind of implied that I was saying that these filters that they, I supposedly said they bought were Berkey filters, and like they were selling them as if they were black Berkey filters, and I did not say that, and that's also not the case. They did not do that. He said that he makes his videos to save lives. David, if you want to save lives, then why are you not addressing directly the valid evidence and concerns about toxic chemicals probably getting through Berkey filters? He said the Lord told him to help people focus on getting prepared for his return, and that one of the most important things he can do is have safe water filtration. When I and all of us stand in front of Jesus uh, at the judgment he is probably not going to be very concerned with concerned with whether I had a Berkey or a very high quality water filter unless it is tied into the two greatest commandments which is to love God above all and to love your neighbor as much as you love yourself so if I'm using a water filter to help my neighbor have clean water and to be healthier, and it's motivated by love, then yeah, Jesus is gonna bring that up at the judgment. That's the only reason why he would do that. David is putting undue emphasis on water filtration in light of the Lord's return. Uh, he said that I am lying, but he, David, is doing his best to save lives. David, your best. I want anyone watching this to think, is this really his or anyone's best? Selling Berkey water filters and defending them, is that your best you can do to save lives? It is not. We all know it's not. You know it's not, David. And you need to adjust how you save lives and the best way to do that. Um... He said that my lies upset him because people's lives are in danger of getting something that isn't going to work for them. I'm curious to know how what I have said will put anyone's life in danger. If they don't use a Berkey and they use something I've suggested as a result of what I've said, these filters are certainly at least as good as Berkey's and almost certainly better in light of the facts. And these facts, I've linked to all of them. You can look in the descriptions of all of my videos 
go to the archive.org links, click on the PDF options, download it and read it yourself and follow the links. Um, and if anything is missing, if I have overlooked anything, put it in the comments and maybe I'll see it. I really cannot get to every comment. There's several thousand of them and it's not possible for me to see them all. Uh, but I've done my best to do a thorough job and to provide you, if nothing else, with enough leads that you can, with relative ease, find the answers yourself. He said that he tells people all the time that they can take away his firearms as well as solar panel system, firewood, and food, but leave him with his Berkey filter. Berkey's not that great compared to other filters. I mean, there are other survival options if it gets so bad you're relying on firearms and food to survive. You don't have to have Berkey. Heck, you can use bleach. <laughs> like, Berkey's not that special. He said that uh, Jamie Young's lab is EPA certified. Good point. I don't actually know what that means. It does list that he's EPA certified on there. I need to research what that means, what the function of that is, what it entails. I agree with David that that's something that I need to understand. Uh, LDS Prepper says that all of these reports that New Millennium Concepts has at their Berkey Water Knowledge Base website, they tell you exactly how much water they used in the reports. In my notes, which I link to below in the description, I have all of the reports, and not all of them list how much water was used. So David is mistaken, or he lied, I don't know which it is. And none of them go over 200 gallons, some of them are as little as 1 gallon, that's nowhere near 3,000 gallons, which is what Berkey advertises. He says that there isn't a lab on the planet that will filter 3,000 or 6,000 gallons of water to do a water test. If you follow the link I have here to the NSF database, the very first entry for Standard 53 is the company 3M. They have multiple filters. One of them is called a Zip Series filter. It was tested to 70 thousand gallons that is seven zero three zeros after that there's a lot more than three or six thousand gallons uh, he said there's not a lab on the planet that will do that but there are many labs that will do that so he is either amazingly mistaken or again lying you can follow that link and see it for yourself uh if you're a truth seeker find the data I agree. Completely agree with him. Find the data. Where is his data? He says that the test done outside of Berkey's own tests might have been done with filters that were not Berkey's. Fraudulent or counterfeit filters. That is a really good point. I'm glad he brought that up. And I spent a lot of time researching it after I saw he said that. And I'm going to make another video about that and link to it in the description. And uh, it addresses that concern. My bottom line conclusion, though, is that Berkey has made it impossible to know if you're buying an authentic product or not. They don't really care whether you do or not. It's just a mirage. I mean, it's a um, smoke and mirrors to make it look like they're doing the right thing when they're not. He said that they say multiple characteristics and descriptions of the filtration elements described in the lawsuit more closely resemble those of knockoff, non-proprietary, carbon-activated filters that saturate major web platforms. And my question is, what evidence do you have to back up any of that? He says, if you don't buy a Berkey from an authorized dealer, you have a 100% chance of getting a fake filter. 100%? Really? So not even a partial percentage chance of getting a real one. When you just said that a man who wants to sell fraudulent filters bought legit ones to sell along with fraudulent ones, which means you have uh, a chance of getting a real one when you might be buying fake ones. LDS Prepper says that he thinks what happened, literally a quote, here we go, that's what I think happened here, they probably bought it off a big platform, and they bought a knockoff, close quote. I'm glad he said he thinks, and probably because he's right, he does not know one way or the other. Um... He said that you've got to buy from authorized dealers to get authentic products. Again, I'll address that in the video that's coming up. You can't actually do that. It's impossible. 
It's a wild goose chase. He says that, or implies, that Berkey is the number one gold standard for water filters across the globe. What evidence is there that Berkey is the number one gold standard against which all water filters on the entire planet are compared? That it is above all the best. There is not any evidence suggesting that. There's quite a bit suggesting the opposite. He says that the Berkey could literally save your life if you have one. Maybe, but so could a tablespoon of bleach. So could many other filters that you could have on hand that are better than Berkey's. He said he teaches his kids that when you die, you only have one thing, and that's your integrity. I agree. And David, if you're a man of integrity, you will slow down, you will look at the actual data, and you will tell the truth. Because right now, whether you are confused, in a hurry, or lying, you're not telling the truth. And you're not really providing clear evidence for your claims. And I hope that you will do the right thing. And uh, keep an eye out for the video. I'm going to post it down in the description below. Talking about how on earth you even find out if you're buying from a legit authorized Berkey dealer, if you even wanted to try to do that.